Hey, so I don't know if you've ever had this problem, but when I'm recording something on my computer using QuickTime and using the screen record feature, and then also recording my face or trying to do voiceover onto a separate device, I can never quite sync up the QuickTime video with the other video that I was recording because the video, when you import them into Premiere Pro, does this really weird thing where all the audio and video is out of sync with anything else that you try to line it up to. So I figured out a really easy way to fix that problem, and all you have to do is download a free program called Handbrake. Oh, and before we get into that, uh, as a teaser for next week, I got these ridiculous lights for some reason. I guess they were just on sale. So, so I'm not entirely sure why I got them. Um, I saw them on, it's like a thousand dollar light set and I saw them on sale. The whole set was only 300 bucks. And so I ordered the controller to actually use them and control them and have do, have them do different things. Uh, but I'll go over all that next week in the video. <laughs> for now, I can't really use them for actual video work in my studio because they're so loud. You can probably hear the fans buzzing. Anyways, onto the, uh, onto Handbrake. Let's see how we use it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is download Handbrake. Uh, there's gonna be a link to it in the description of this video. And when you open it up, it's gonna look like this. Um, it's gonna probably let you pick a file or whatever. Just pick the screen recording that you're trying to sync back to the rest of your footage. Mine's called Screen One. Just open it up and all you really need to do is change this radio button, Peak Frame Rate VFR, to Constant Frame Rate because for some reason QuickTime uses peak frame rate and the frame rate changes throughout the recording somehow. And when you pull that into Premiere, it doesn't recognize it properly uh, and it won't sync up with the rest of your footage properly. So just click constant frame rate, pick whatever FPS you want to render your video in. Uh, I generally render mine in like 24 frames per second. Go to the picture and make sure you change the resolution to the resolution that you want it to be uh, because it, the default is 1080p for handbrake just change it to like 1440p or whatever you know match match your original file so you get the maximum quality out of your files um, and pick a destination file I'm gonna save mine to the desktop as screen1.mp4 and then you're done just hit start And it's going to do its own thing for, depending on how long your screen recording was. Uh, it can take like 15 minutes for the longer ones. Or if you have a really fast computer, maybe it'll be right away. I don't know. This was just a little 1 minute and 15 second clip that I had recorded for the purpose of this tutorial. Boom. And it's done. So we'll bring in the screen1.mp4 and the, the audio that accompanied it. And if we give it a listen through, it should be perfectly synced up. An example of what I'm talking about with this problem I have. In recording, and I bet you they're out of sync. There. See, now they're perfectly in sync, and you can do that for all your clips. Super easy tutorial. Um, I'm recording the screen now, showing you this, and I could do it with this clip. I'm going to be doing the same thing that I just showed you here with the clip that I have up here. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this tip, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and I have new videos every week. Have a great day.